All right, so now in the last uh, just couple minutes, I just want to introduce very briefly buffers. So a buffer is something that maintains the pH of a solution. So it's going to buffer that solution. So if you add a little bit of strong acid or a little bit of strong base, it doesn't matter. The pH is going to stay the same. So there are two kinds of, of buffers. You have uh, an acid buffer, which is going to buffer, maintain the pH on the acidic side of neutral, and a basic buffer, which will maintain the pH on the basic end of the pH scale. So let me uh, just give you a, a brief example of a buffer and just get you thinking about buffers. So here, in a buffer problem, you're going to mix an acid with its conjugate base. So you, you have acetate and then prob probably the acetate salt of the acetic acid. So over here, you have the acetic acid. On this side, you have its conjugate base, usually added in the form of a salt. And then you have an equilibrium. So What's going to happen if you add a strong amount of strong acid to this solution? If you add strong acid, if you add more H3, uh, H3O plus, what happens if you add more? What direction will the reaction shift? So you'll get this back reaction. It'll try to minimize that stress and move the other way. And it'll use up some of that acid and maintain the pH. Then you can think. Uh, so the, so these amount of acid added is effectively removed and the pH uh, stays the same. What about if you add a strong, a strong base? Well, that strong base will react uh, with, with, um, with the acid. It will remove protons from this acid or the hy hydrogen, hydronium or hydrogen ion here, forming this water and its conjugate. So you'll make more of these, and the pH will also stay the same. So the base is going to be removed by reacting. So they're effectively removed, and the pH stays the same. So in this, you have a weak acid, HA. It'll transfer protons to o, um, OH minus and uh, supplied by the strong base. The conjugate of that, that weak acid, which would be a weak base, um, is going to accept protons from any acid that is going to be supplied. So uh, in this way, you maintain the pH. And so let me just, I just want to emphasize that in a buffer solution, you have HA, an acidic buffer solution, you have HA, and you have its conjugate. And if you only have one or the other, it's not going to make a good buffer. So um, it, I want you to remember that in buffers, you have both conjugates. One alone is not going to work. And people forget this in, this in the class. And so you can remember that for Halloween, your chemistry professor dressed up as a buffer to help you remember that in a buffer, you've got to have both. You've got to have the conjugate acid base set. Otherwise, it will, it will not buffer.